All right, guys. Today I want to talk about this damn fast controller. Model number. Let's see the model number. It's ERC 112C. So you can see we got this schematic diagram here. Um, I have five uh, five connections uh, in the back. Uh, number one is your compressor connection. Compressor connection. And number two is your line. Three is neutral. And DO3, normally I use that for, uh, on my uh, hot gas bypass. I use that as um, for my fan. And number five, solenoid or vice versa. I can do number five as the fan and solenoid as uh, number four. In the back, the sensors are, uh, they have quick connect, uh, quick plug-in connectors. Plug it in there. Uh, right here, S1, we set that on, on our program, we set that up for uh, room temperature. S2, we have that for EBAP, outlet EBAP temp, and S3, that's uh, condensing outlet temperature all right now looking at the front we got this defrost button uh, set control and the up and down arrow right here if you notice the the light blinks when this camera is it's staying there for a little bit so I need to move it Change the angle so the light won't be blinking again. Um, I mean, it's not blinking. It's just the camera doing that. By the way, guys, I have right here, uh, you see the difference between this Dixo and Danfoss. I like this Danfoss for some reason. It's uh, They built more uh, slick. But anyway, that's not the topic for today. That's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk, talk about this Danfoss, how to access the lower set point, which um, I'm getting a lot of calls. On the uh, next video, I'm probably going to end up talking about the high set point, which is I mean, it's the same procedure to access those. There we go. So in order for me to access, in order for me to access the lower set point, all right, all I have to do is press this up and down arrow, both press and hold at the same time. So up and down arrow, press and hold at the same time until I see a display or a display um, that will pop up. It will say T-H-E. So here we go, guys. I'm going to press this up and down arrow at the same time, press and hold. And momentarily, THE will pop up. Let's do that again. It didn't do it. Maybe I didn't press it uh, both at the same time. There we go. Try it again. And the THE showed up. All right, now that I'm on THE, to access the low uh, set point, all I have to do is press SC down here, that left down uh, left side down button press that just one click and it shows set uh, as a matter of fact let's see what the set point on this so 32 is a set point that's when your uh, termination temperature is all right um, now we're gonna have to save that set control right here SC set control all right now to access the lower set point all I have to do is press this down arrow. That's your set, set point ratio. Which in this case, if you want to see a set point ratio. Sorry about that guys, I have to move my hand. Alright, zero. And next will be um, your differential. Differential, we set the differential uh, temperature to like 4 degrees. So, um, that's how we uh, set it on the program. So now to verify that press SC and it will say four degrees all right uh, the 
next one will be like oh go back high set point okay the high set point i'm gonna talk about that i'm gonna talk about high set point on a different video again let me adjust the camera so the light will not look like it's blinking all right so high set point let's verify that real quick it's 41 degrees this is going to be uh, uh employed or installed on a uh, critical unit so the high set point will be at 41. set control all right now going down to, um going down to lower set point there we go this is what exactly we're trying what we're trying to access lower set point we want to set the temperature termination temperature to 32 which in this case it's already at 32 so if this wasn't 32 let's say for example this was at set at 34 all you have to do is press this uh, down arrow 32 just play around with the, the up and down arrow that's how simple that, that is all right now we're at 32 let's verify some uh, numbers values over here also parameters so what's uh, next one that's your set point ratio second set point ratio differential it's your second differential ICE and it goes back to set now set point yeah, is still at 32 to get back all you have to do is press this defrost button right here um, the defrost button act, act like a back button so when you press it once it will go back to THE and to go back to the temperature display which you want to have a, the temperature display on there um, all you gotta do is press this one more time the, on the defrost button but before we do that let me show you um, the different uh, uh, parameters here fan, airline, PUD, defrost, COP, COM display uh, and we go back to THE there's a lot more in there but anyways like I said to get back to uh, the temperature display all you have to do is press this defrost button right here and boom it shows my ambient temp which is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit if you have any questions guys please uh, you know um, put that in your, on the comment or leave a comment um, do you have any question about this e, uh, ERC-112 so I can respond to your comments okay that's pretty much it all right don't forget to hit that subscribe button all right guys bye for now